Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make a cool 3D text animation using Element 3D plugin. First of all we will need a clean background without a car. To get background as clean as possible we should use a Photoshop. So, go forward for about 1 second and move your clip there. Now make sure you are at the very beginning of your clip and then go to composition. Then save frame as and click on Photoshop layers. Rename it to clean and save it somewhere you will find it easily. Then open that saved Photoshop layer. In Photoshop grab a remove tool and remove the car from a background. Once it looks cool, save it as PNG and drag it to After Effects. Cut the ending where the actual video starts from. Once we have that clean background, let's grab a text tool and type anything you want. Cut text layer as well and then toggle it off. Now create new solid layer, rename it to effect and click on OK. Cut solid layer as well and then apply element plugin on it. Under element expand custom layers and then expand custom text and masks. Change path layer 1 to a text you have created. Now expand custom texture maps and change layer 1 to clean PNG that we have edited in Photoshop. Now expand render settings and then expand physical environment. Change override to clean PNG here as well. Now click on Scene Setup and in Element window click on Extrude button to bring our text in it. Expand Extrusion Model and click on Bevel 1. I will increase Extrude to make my text thicker. You can also play around with text settings here. Now let's click on Presets and select Physical. Double click on any preset here and once you are happy with your text, click on OK. Expand Group 1 now, then expand Particle Replicator. By changing Position Z you can make your text bigger or smaller. Also change Position of X and Y. Expand Particle Look and then expand Multi Object and toggle it on. Make sure you are at the very beginning of your layer and then click on Rotation Random Stopwatch icon. Then go to very end of Effect Layer and add rotations as much as you will enjoy. As you can see the text is animated but, it's not the end. Now close Effect Settings for a while, we will come back here a bit later. Now we should make a car falling effect, duplicate your video and rename it to car only. Now make sure you are at the very beginning of car only layer, then right click on it, go to time and select, freeze frame. Move car only layer above effect layer. Then go a few frames backward and move car only layer there and cut it where the actual video starts from. Now we should mask out the car as smooth as possible, I will grab a pen tool and mask out it. Once we have the car only layer we can begin making a car falling effect. Go to very end of car only layer and press P on your keyboard. Click on position stopwatch icon. Then go to very beginning of that layer and move position all the way up. Now select both keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve like in this video. Car falling effect is ready and now let's go back to effect layer to adjust our text. First of all I will move my text a bit up. That looks better in my case. Now scroll your video where the car is right above the text and then click on display stopwatch icon. Now go to very end of effect layer and increase displace until the text is fully gone. Now press U on your keyboard and select both displace keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Enable motion blur on effect and car only layers. Let's check it. What I will add more is, a glow and shakes effect. I will use a deep glow plugin. If you don't have it, like this video, follow me on Instagram and write me. I want a deep glow to get it for free. Lastly we can add shake effect. I will skip that part cause I have already made a shake tutorials. Also I have created 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description. Check how it looks like with my shake preset. With a shake it is better but, I think this video looks a bit weird in the beginning cause there is no movements because of an image. To fix it and add some motion to it, first of all we should pre-compose all layers except your actual video and shake effect. Now create new camera. Cut it and match it to your pre-composed layer and move it below adjustment layer or shake layer in my case. Now enable motion blur and 3D on pre-composed layer. Then open camera settings and click on point of interest and position stopwatch icons. Grab a dolly cursor tool now and slightly zoom the video. Now grab a pan cursor tool and change the position of your video something like this. Then go somewhere in the middle of camera layer and move your video's position. Then go to very end of camera layer, right click on stopwatch icons and select, Reset to bring everything to normal. Select all keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard and let's check it. 
that's way better. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.